So I was receiving quite a few messages asking me what I thought of the new Witcher Netflix series trailer. They've released an official teaser. And of course, I was getting the messages before I even knew there was a trailer. So I've just gone off and watched the trailer and it's pretty good. It it looks good. The graphics seem fine, if you know what I mean. Like the, there's the, you don't see much in the way of the monsters. You see little hints of it but the costumes look fine, it looks dark, it looks a little forbidding. The combat looks okay. Superman looks fine as Geralt. He's a little different to the Geralt in the games, although, you know, if you actually look at it, the Geralt from the first Witcher game looks different to the one in the third Witcher game, so it's, you know, there are, there are always little differences there anyway. And overall, it, it just, it looked okay. It didn't, it didn't wow me. It just made me think, yeah, I'm, I'm going to watch this. This looks cool. I was far more interested in the comment section, though, because one of the things I've been noticing is there are a lot of people who are coming along to see this series who seem to think that it's going to sort of carry on the game the Witcher 3 game, and they're expecting the sort of bearded CD Projekt Red Geralt, and they're not getting that. They're getting Geralt um, prior to even the first game, I believe. And, of course, it's the Geralt from the books. It's very much going to be a Witcher series that, is, that has influences from the books, the original author, and not from CD Projekt Red. So, of course, I was seeing all these comments along the lines of, it's got the wrong medallion, even though apparently the medallion is the one from the books, and Siri doesn't look like she looks in the uh, in the game. Shouldn't be a surprise. And and some people even sort of thinking, well, they should have got the the people who did the music for the third game to do the, the music in the trailer. And, you know, whilst I kind of like that, and I kind of agree with the sentiment. I'm not even totally sure what the legal issues would be there, because of course CD Projekt Red and the author of the Witcher series have had some, well, let's call it issues. I'm, I'm not saying there's bad blood there, because I don't know for sure. I think CD Projekt Red have been very calm and professional in their responses to what has gone on there, but I can't imagine that a series that has influence from the original author is going to be taking too much from the games. I, I may be wrong. I may be wrong. I don't know because I've never actually read the books. I know there's a load of people, oh my God, you should read the books. I, they're on my list of things to read, okay? Along with a list of other things I'd like to get done sometime in the next century. Um, but overall, you know, the comments, I think, for the trailer were a bit better than the comments I've seen prior to this trailer. A lot of people were a bit miffed at some of the artwork. Some of the some people were annoyed with the choice of I can never remember his name, Carville or something. Superman. Um, although apparently he's a big fan of the series, so he really wanted to do it, which I think is a good thing. And honestly, when I saw him in the trailer, I, I could see it. I really could. Um, I'm glad they've not tried to keep him pretty, because he's a very handsome man. And Geralt was supposed to be handsome, but I think it was in a more animal, aggressive way, a dirtier way almost, a gruffer way. And it looks like they've gone for that in in the in the trailer. He looked he looked like a killer rather than a, you know, a fancy man. And I love the fact that when they showed him, you know, high on all the potions, he looked pretty disgusting. I liked that. So overall I'm thinking the reaction that the trailer got was pretty good. People were sort of saying, oh, well, we didn't see any dialogue. You never see any dialogue in teaser trailers. It's always action. But one thing I do have to say, one thing I did notice, is that CD Projekt Red are actually way better at trailers than Netflix is, at least when it comes to The Witcher. Because this trailer was, it was good. I'm going to watch it. I'm like, yeah, this is okay. But the reaction I get whenever I watch the CD Projekt Red trailers for the Witcher games is something completely different. Even now, if I if I boot up and watch something like the Killing Monsters cinematic trailer, it's awesome. It's so well done. It gives you so much of the character, so much of the feel of the game, of the world, giving you 
this uh, this this amazing vibe and a very sort of dark message without needing very many words and and that means the few words that were there really had a lot of impact and then of course there's something like the um the launch tra trailer for was it blood and wine a night to remember oh my god that was phenomenal if you've not seen either of those launch trailers just go and watch them they're amazing i mean a night to remember is absolutely haunting it's it's brilliant and yet it's so sad it is so sad and i think it captures some of the the tragedy in the witcher's job the fact that he's killing monsters and you're never totally sure whether it's right to do so or if he's in fact getting the correct monster i mean both of the trailers i've mentioned are about the nature of monsters and i won't spoil it for you both of them are about the nature of monsters but from well very different perspectives and even going back to the original game, the Witcher 1 game, the Enhanced Edition trailer is actually really good. It, it's nowhere near as good as their Witcher 3 trailers, but it was still pretty good. They, th th there was something about it. They had a lot of atmosphere. CD Projekt Red are actually really good at getting over the feels in their trailers, in their cutscenes. So... I just, I couldn't help but notice that. That was, that was one of the things that stood out to me when watching this Netflix trailer. It, it looks good. I'm going to watch it. But, and I know I'm biased on this, you know, for transparency's sake, I am, of course, a partner with GOG, which means I'm slightly biased towards CD Projekt Red. I just think CD Projekt Red do a better job on those trailers. They, they really do. And I have a horrible feeling the Netflix TV series has got a lot to live up to. It doesn't just have to live up to the books. And the book fans are quite fanatical about the, uh, the series. It also has to go up against the gamer expectations. And that is less about, I'd say, the story and the, the character lore exactly. And more about the feels, the, the music... The atmosphere, which CD Projekt Red got really good at, so they're gonna they're gonna be getting judgment from both angles. And apparently, the books are utterly superb, and we know the games are brilliant, especially the third one. It's like you know the greatest game I've ever played, in my opinion. This Netflix series has got a massively high bar to try and reach, and uh, I do worry that many of us are going to be watching it with expectations that just go far beyond anything that's fair. So it will be interesting to see what gets delivered, whether or not it will be good, and for me, even more interesting, how the fans are going to react to it. That is going to be almost as fascinating for me as uh, the... Uh, the actual series itself. So there you go. So that was that was my reaction to the Witcher Netflix series trailer.